The research that my group is tackling is really trying to understand how cells make decisions, what affects, what drives the behavior of cells in our body, but also in the environment. We are looking at really challenging problems and no single mathematical technique or approach would do justice to the biological complexity. So the niche that my group has carved out for itself is to use lots and lots of different methods. They range from my sort of home ground statistical field theory to stochastic processes, statistical analysis, machine learning or artificial intelligence. We do a lot of dynamical systems where noise enters the fray. So we're really interested in processes that change over time, but where the change is also subject to some random fluctuations. The potential impact of this research is that we are already producing new autoimmune therapies for complex disorders for which no other therapy exists. We can also understand the origins of autoimmune disorders, such as lupus, certain types of diabetes and so on, much, much better in light of these results. Not everybody who is interested in mathematics is interested in biology. So in my experience, often the case that if you work in a field which is slightly adjacent to your own field, you may spot opportunities that other people who are more deeply embedded in the field have missed. So I think there might be some low-hanging fruit that you can pick as you enter a new field. I think the key really is to establish the framework where people from different backgrounds can learn and work with each other because realistically, in my experience, the people in my group have learned more from each other than they would ever have learned from me. And I think establishing this environment has been, for me, the key but also the most enjoyable aspect of my working life.